Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 26, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, giving you the images, 304 angstroms, the filter that we are under. Active sunspot regions, only two C-class solar flares to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have now five Earth-facing sunspots on our sun. And another pretty active region getting ready to crest in. Looking outgoing here, still a couple plasma filaments to deal with. Dancing around both the north and southern hemispheres. Another close look here at the events that have happened over the last couple of days. A little plasma shot there, and then shortly thereafter, a little plasma loop coming from that sunspot in the northern hemisphere. As well, activity yet again back down in the southeast. So all of this energy hopping around the huge coronal hole. 193 angstroms here. This is where it shows darkened regions which are coronal holes and do increase the solar wind speeds here on Earth. When normally we are at about 300 kilometers per second, the intense solar winds that are produced over these cooled regions that are propelled towards Earth double the speed. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, six active sunspot regions, and two coronal holes. A couple plasma tornadoes spinning across the northern hemisphere around the pole yet again, and that's been happening a lot recently. Quite possibly on the verge of a magnetic reversal, my friends. We've been talking about it for a while. Having a look at space weather conditions, they are low right now. No space weather events to talk about, but two C-class solar flares geomagnetic activity hopping up just recently up to a three due to this coronal hole activity which increased our solar wind speeds to over 600 kilometers per second they're at 590 right now but it hopped up to 669 kilometers per second noticeable there are the density bunches at the same time 24.57 and the temperature was right up at 9.12 and this is what our magnetosphere looks like when it is being hit by the solar winds from the coronal hole that is affecting us right now. This is just a map of how our magnetosphere is holding out. You can see all that backdraft of energy. Having a look here at the magnetosphere cut planes for pressure. This is the one that I noticed and shared with you the other day. A lot has changed there. The pressure is definitely on and we are sitting low for earthquakes. So expecting something big to come here soon. Having a look at ISPWA space prediction spiral, showing a couple CB blasts taking off from the backside of the sun towards the Parker Solar Probe satellite. Also on the right-hand side, watching all that energy coming in for the 28th into the 29th and the first couple days of April. Schumann resonance for today is a low power compared to what it has been recently. And we've seen a lot of events around the world. Power of 9, frequency of 10.2. Now let's get to earthquakes for a 48-hour period. And again, welcome everybody to this earthquake update and world update. We are actually pretty low for earthquakes. Just said he go over 200 earthquakes, according to USGS, 24-hour period. And that's a slightly below average. Still had one more deep earthquake there, Fiji. Only a 452-kilometer depth. Other than that, activity through Japan. Nothing major to report worldwide. Largest magnitude earthquake was a 5.4. A 
lots of threes and fours. No swarms to talk about. No major volcanic eruptions. Just some crazy weather that is erupting across the Gulf states in which it was forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Had a good couple days of warning. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in Mississippi. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Not everybody gets to see how our Earth is acting when it comes to seismicity and volcanic activity, especially during space weather events, because it's good to correlate all of them together, especially the weather, which is directed by the sun. Interesting activity in South America this week. Watch for more through Central America and northward towards the Cascades. Something else I wanted to share with you is the upper level winds here. This is top level winds, 100,000 feet. And mo this is looking at the northern hemisphere. And you can kind of see where our magnetic north pole is, which is over Siberia and it has moved dramatically over the past two decades towards Siberia. And at the same time, we've got the Southern Hemisphere being pulled towards the same area in which that North Pole is gravitating. So does that mean that our North and South Pole are actually being pulled towards each other right now during the magnetic reversal? I don't know. One can only speculate based on science and history. But there is definitely something wrong with our atmosphere right now. And this is a worldwide winds. And you can see there's a definitely a wider equator on the other side of the planet right now. Very strong magnetic north pole over Siberia could really change things, could really change our jet streams. For instance, look at our jet streams from last year at this time. This year. Last year. And now. Something has changed even in this 12-month period. And I have looked back on this calendar all the way back to 2013 where this data was started to be collected. So 10 years worth. And I've seen a setup like this for our North and South Pole. Upper level winds, mid level winds. Something is amiss. Can you see where our new North Pole is? If we were to have a new North Pole and new South Pole, that would dramatically change the weather worldwide and as well crustal displacement volcanic activity for magnetic field is being damaged in any way from our sun we would see it everywhere quite possibly on the bird for everybody let's have a look at weather here as we have a couple systems heading and down the west coast as well a low pressure system heading through hudson bay widespread flurries across the Canadian prairies and then a big storm system developing there Thursday into Friday for the United States. Watch for extreme weather all week long as these cold fronts are going to keep pushing through, especially Saturday into Sunday. Next weekend, cold temperatures still hanging around. Overlooking Europe, you've got a very large low pressure system out at sea and is bringing in waves of moisture Atmospheric river of moisture is affecting the United Kingdom here. You've got about seven straight days of rain. Watch for that to all flood into Central Europe. And as well, the same thing here. Weird atmospheric river heading through the equator into parts of northern Brazil. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Australia. No major cyclones or typhoons developing, but intense low pressure system for Western Australia will be whipping across the continent. 
and as well a pretty strong system heading northward through Japan and up into Kamchatka, North and South Korea. Also noticeable there, some pretty large frequencies coming from north of Hawaii with this large low pressure system grinding just north of you for the next four to five days. I also wanted to share here with you the satellite imagery overlooking Alabama right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by the storms that have been ripping across the United States, Mississippi, and now through Alabama and eastward, Louisiana, Georgia. This is satellite imagery right now as there are tornado warnings across all three states here. Some pretty vicious radar imagery here. As you can see, it all just rolling over into each other. There was definitely an er a early morning a tornado through Alabama. And the tornado watches and warnings keep popping up. So stay tuned to your local radio and TV networks to get the latest on these intense systems. I'll leave you here with a close look at satellite imagery of these storms. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Much love and thank you so much for watching tonight. We'll see you next video. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.